I couldn't think of a clever joke for this team. So here's some beans. Oi, my fellow comrades. I'm Squidtard, and this is this is another part in my series where I look at every SEC team, analyze their schedule, and predict their record for next year to the best of my ability. If you have not already, subscribe to Squidtard, where I post more college football content and other high quality content. Anyway, today we have a look at Missouri. Uh, they've been a pretty confusing team as well. Uh, all I can say is that they're definitely going to be interesting next year. Drew Locke, who I believe is going to be one of the best quarterbacks in the SEC, if not the best. He'll be interesting next year, and it'll most likely be, it'll most likely be the man of the team. But let's have a look at their uh, schedule and see if they can do anything good this year. So let's just take a look here. Their first game, UT Martin, easy win here. No chance for upset. I do not see your defense being that bad. But uh, Wyoming, uh, this might want to be a team you want to watch out for. Uh, good defense, but it might b bring trouble. But then again, Wyoming doesn't exist. So, uh, yeah, you all will win that game. Uh, Purdue, this one will definitely not be easy. You lost to them last year. They they blew you out too uh but i do think y'all will want revenge and with the drew locks help i think y'all should be able to win this game y'all have y'all are gonna have a really good offense this year and a really bad defense that's just my opinion then move on to a home game against georgia this is going to be a very difficult game for y'all i do not expect uh, that home field advantage to really help you that much. So at the end, I think Georgia wins this game. I don't know if it'll be a blowout, but I do think that's what's going to happen. Uh, after a bye week, you all get South Carolina. Uh, even though you have a bye week to prepare for this game, South Carolina is going to be a pretty good team this year. I think Will Muschamp is going to be prepared to go on to go and uh, win this game and also y'all go on the road to play them so I do not think y'all will beat South Carolina uh, Alabama I, I do not see any way you go into Tuscaloosa and uh, win that game most likely you'll score because of your offense but I do not see that much I do hope though that uh, Missouri's defense at least tries in that game then y'all have Memphis this is a homecoming game uh should win fairly easily and maybe out of topic here but the best team in tennessee <laughs> memphis is not the best team in tennessee both tennessee and vanderbilt will blow them out i'm just gonna say that because people like to say uh tennessee and vandy are really bad teams and memphis would beat them so i just i just had to say that but anyway anyway out of topic uh move moving back to kentucky Kentucky uh, another home game for y'all you should win because of Kentucky's defense uh, I Kentucky's defense is just absolutely terrible I think they're even worse than yours that, that's it, that's not much nothing against y'all but still I think y'all find a way to win this game and also this is a setup home game for y'all so y'all should win here then you go back on the road to Florida a very hard road game here I just I have a feeling this will be a close game because of Drew Locke, but I do think that Dan Mullen will help Florida and that and the offense pull away in in the fourth quarter. But if but if uh, Missis or uh, what if Missouri does happen to uh, pull away in that game, I I'd be kind of surprised because that defense I think Florida is going to just find a way to outscore Missouri. Then uh you uh. Vanderbilt, uh, another home game here. Vanderbilt is on a down down point. Uh, I do think Drew Locke is a better quarterback than Kyle Schumer. So and and that's uh, basically most of what Vanderbilt has too. So I do think that uh, you all will find a way to win this game. Back out on the road to Tennessee. Uh, this will not be an easy game. It'll probably most likely be a shootout, but just like Florida, I do think Tennessee will pull out late, or maybe even in overtime if things go bad for Tennessee, but I do think that they win this game, unfortunately for you all. 
Then you have Arkansas. Another home game, uh, Arkansas just got Chad Morris. Uh, I'm not a believer in him this year, especially because Arkansas, I do not think they have enough talent to uh, beat Drew Locke here. So I think y'all should win this game uh, fairly easily. So that puts you all at 7-5. and five. A pretty good season for Missouri. Uh, I do... So, hold on a moment. Uh, your biggest chance for a loss here is uh, Arkansas. Why do, I, why do I say that? Arkansas, they're... A, I just said they were a pretty bad team. Uh, I put that as a 40% chance of happening. Why would I put that as a loss for Missouri? Thing is, I, Missouri's defense, I do not think uh, that they'll stop Arkansas from scoring. And I don't even know if Missouri can score enough points to beat Arkansas. But uh, this is at the end of the season, so we'll just have to see how, how each of these teams do. But I do think that Missouri will win that game. Uh, your biggest chance for a win between Florida and Tennessee I had to pick Tennessee at a 35 percent because uh, I don't know Tennessee they just got a, a new coach uh, Jeremy Pruitt 35 percent again 35 percent chance here because I do believe that Tennessee overall is a more talented team than Missouri but Drew Locke could definitely put a lot of points on them but I do think that uh, Tennessee will pull out in that game but those are my that's my Missouri predictions if you like the video uh, make sure to subscribe to squid Tartar if you have not already and if you didn't like it leave me a comment and tell me what you think anyway thanks for watching and peace out <laughs>